Okay, children, our topic for Heli4 is all about importance of computer, internet, and email. Will you please read it again? Importance of computer, internet, and email. With a learning target, recognize the importance and different guidelines in using a computer and the internet. And explain the harmful effects of unwanted software. Are you ready? Let's begin! Technology has become part of our everyday life. The following are the importance of computer in different fields. Number 1. Education The lessons can be very interesting and lively for the pupils with the aid of video clips, slide presentations, and other computer-aided software or application games which can be downloaded from the internet. Teachers can easily compute the grades of their pupils through the use of Microsoft Excel. The pupils can expand their ideas through the use of internet. They can also make surveys, documents, and projects using the different productivity tools. Number 2. Medicine Different cases ranging from simple to severe illnesses are somehow addressed with the use of technology. Analyzing the sickness of a person is easier with the use of an X-ray machine, computerized tomography or CT scan, and ultrasound. Doctors can make their diagnosis accurate through the use of these machines. Number 3. Business Mass production of bread, pastries, school supplies, furniture, and cosmetics, among others, can be done with the use of machines. Promotions and marketing strategies will be easier to execute because of the different options on the internet. Number 4. News and Entertainment Latest trends and updates as regards to government issues, fashion trends, medicine, education, and public awareness can be read and seen through different gadgets and appliances such as television, radio, and personal computer or among others. Unlike the human body, a computer cannot create a system on its own that can fight and block the harmful effects of any downloaded software or applications unless it is programmed. Malware is defined as a malicious software which can serve as a bridge to hack the private information of the computer owner and to corrupt his or her files. The malware can be obtained through external factors such as opening suspicious websites, using infected storage devices like flash drive and memory card, or even accepting, opening, and receiving suspicious messages from your email account. Some of the various types of malwares are the following. First, the computer virus. Sometimes hides itself as a file, and once it is installed in your system, it may corrupt the structure and make ambiguity in executing a task. One of the best examples is the I love you virus. Second is worm. is a type of virus with a primary goal to infect and pass by the other network through LAN or the local area network. Third, the spyware can cause the hard drive and the random access memory or RAM to malfunction. Unlike worm and computer virus, spyware does not duplicate or replicate itself. However, it is programmed to spy the personal information of the user, such as documents, videos, and other important data stored in a computer. Fourth, Adware is an unwanted pop-up advertisement that appears on a website. Fifth, Trojan Horse 
Port saves itself as a file that can be transferred through a storage device or that can be downloaded from the internet. Once it opens, it triggers all the hidden viruses and can cause a very serious damage in the operating system and application software. Sixth, spam. Uses their address book in the email account of the user to send messages or transact accounts in behalf of the user. How to avoid computer virus? First, is to check and install an antivirus software and activate your computer's firewall. Research the most effective antivirus. You may ask your friends if they have been using that antivirus and their experience in using it so far. Second, do not forget to update your antivirus regularly. Updating the antivirus can be done quarterly or periodically, depending on the system requires and restrictions. Avoid accepting or downloading files through pop-up windows and from suspicious websites. Fourth, do not just share your files from one website to another. Make sure that you have transferred your documents to a reliable address to avoid spywares. Last, most of the viruses are filed in the email, attachments, word processing files, and images. This can have an extension file name of .exe or .exe. Let's check your understanding. If you are given a chance to create an antivirus, what will be the name and its primary function? Explain your answer. Are you ready? Let's begin! Thank you for listening! Goodbye!